Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Basic Economics, a common sense guide to the economy. What is economics? In daily life, we've all come across simple economic phenomena, for example, when prices are higher, people tend to buy less than when prices are lower. But not many people understand the underlying reasons. Economics reveals the underlying principles of economic phenomena by studying the cause and effect relationship behind them and making such relationships more straightforward and comprehensible. The causation we are talking about here is not the kind of simple one-way causation, but rather the systemic causation. How should we comprehend this? Let's look at a case study. Supposedly someone wants to buy a villa at the beach, but when they find out that the prices are prohibitively high, they may give up the idea and settle for a bungalow farther inland. When people's demand for beachside villas wanes, the villa's prices will be affected and go slightly down. The resulting price changes force buyers and sellers to reassess their plans. So we've discovered the interaction between prices and supply and demand, and that is what we call systemic causation. Too often, we falsely explain the results of systemic interaction through individual intentions. For instance, we've just mentioned that rising prices reflect changes in supply and demand, but some people may attribute it to business people's greed. This kind of thinking deviates from the basic economic principles and is not the right way to understand market behaviors. Therefore, only by understanding the basic economic principles can we avoid the natural tendency to explain systemic causation results through intentions. In addition to causation, we also need to know what is scarcity in order to learn about economics. What does scarce mean? It means that what everybody wants adds up to more than there is. One might wonder why there is still scarcity even though we live in a society with plenty of resources. The reason is that there is never enough to meet the desires of each of us. A feature article in the New York Times points out that even though the middle-class Americans are already considerably more well-off compared to the previous generations, they are still just getting by, because their desires exceed what they can comfortably afford. It's safe to say that scarcity is everywhere, and it's reflected in the allocation of all resources in our life. Generally speaking, economics analyzes cause and effect relationships in economic activities to figure out how to allocate scarce resources that have alternative uses. The book Basic Economics a common sense guide to the economy teaches us how to master this thinking and change the way we see the world. This will help us make better decisions at every critical moment in life. The author of the book Thomas Sowell is a one of the leading liberal economists in the United States and one of the main figures of the Chicago School of Economics. A graduate from Harvard University, he is now a senior fellow at Stanford University's Hoover Institution. He has taught economics at Cornell University and the University of California and served as a government advisor on economics. Sol has won numerous awards throughout his career, including the National Humanities Medal and the Bradley Prize. Basic Economics, one of the classics among his more than 30 books has been translated into six languages and long topped Amazon's best-selling list for economics books in the United States. In this bookie, We'll explain to you in three parts how to comprehend the way things work from an economic standpoint. Part 1, Prices and Markets. Part 2, Industry and Commerce. Part 3, Work and Pay. In a market economy where there is no specific individual or set of individuals that control or coordinate all the economic activities, how do things happen in an orderly manner? Prices play a crucial role here which is manifested in three aspects. Firstly, prices are like messengers conveying news. For example, as we mentioned earlier, those who wanted to buy a villa at the beach ended up giving up on the purchase due to its high price. But the high price itself is not the only reason why people cannot live in a beachside villa. The price also conveys a message, beachfront villas are much sought after, but the amount of such properties are far from enough to meet all the demands. Numerous pieces of such market information are passed on to buyers and sellers through prices, which can sway their decisions on whether to buy or produce. This is how prices effectively deliver the information. Secondly, the primary role of prices